Welcome back to New York Sports MC. Earlier today, Connor Hughes of The Athletic came out and said, stated that Robbie Anderson will not be returning to the Jets this offseason and will be moving on to another team in free agency. I know I've created a few videos where I've spoken about Robbie and the importance of trying to bring him back, um, some of the improvements that he's made in his game since his rookie season, and how much the chemistry with him and Sam Darnold w would be good to continue to build on. But this is why I'm not upset about this news that, that Robbie's moving on. If he's moving on, all indications are probably because he's going to make quite a bit of money on the free agent market as the free agent class is not that top heavy this year. So if he's getting $14, $15 million a year, even $13 million a year, that's going to be too much for us to spend with all the other holes that we have. And with how deep this wide receiver class is this year, we can easily address the two starting wide receiver spots in the draft this year if we choose to do so. We have four picks in the first three rounds and we can get two solid contributors in those first three rounds. Uh, so if we look at the draft, and these guys would obviously be paired with Jameson Crowder in the slot and our tight ends that we have. So if you look in the draft, if we do go wide receiver in round one, I had that video on Jerry Judy and CD Lamb, so you can check that out. Both amazing options for our number one wide receiver that we have not had in a long time. And then if you look at second and third round options, if we don't choose one in the first, there's a lot of different names to keep an eye on. Now, I didn't mention some people because I think that they're probably going to be late first round picks or mid first round picks, and they will not be available for the Jets unless we did a trade back scenario from pick 11. So you have Rieger, Mims, Hill, Van Jefferson, Brian Edwards, Pittman, Hodgins, Gandy Golden, Ayuk, these are all different people that we can get in the second or third round and get them in there, plug and play to really help Darnold. The great thing is we have a solid slot receiver in Jamison Crowder. I think one of the better slot receivers in the game. And we do have a plethora of tight ends, barring that they can all get back in healthy with Griffin and Herndon. And we just re-signed Brown, who I think if you mix him in there every once in a while, he's a good receiving tight end as well. There will be a lot of options for Dono. So what I would do is, I really want to go offensive tackle round one, but if we did choose a Judy or Lamb round one, you're looking at grabbing one of these other receivers in round three, maybe Van Jefferson, um, maybe Hodgins. It's too early to tell who might fall to the third round. Gandy Golden I've seen go from the third round to the second round. So it's Mims is another name as well. So we have to wait really for the combine to kind of see a more accurate depiction of where these receivers may fall. But let's say we do go offensive tackle in that first round like I think we should. Hopefully um, Andrew Thomas falls to us at 11. This is where I double down and use a second round pick on a wide receiver. And then I would also come back with one of the two third round picks being a wide receiver. And, and just trying to get two of these guys and bring them in there. So we wouldn't have the elite top guy like a Judy or Lamb, but we could get two really solid players in the second and third round. So does it suck to lose Robbie? Yeah, you, you never like to see um, a player that you, your team helped develop and played well for you um, and exceed and continue to show improvements end up leaving via free agency. But you have to build a whole roster. And you can't spend all that extra money on a position like that um, when Robbie hasn't proven to be an elite number one wide receiver. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is there a receiver that I didn't mention? Are you guys upset or happy that Robbie will not be coming back? Um, and as always, jet up.